Hello everybody and welcome to another fly tying video produced by the folks at alaskaflyfish.net. I'm Flashback Max and today we're going to do another technique kind of thing. But it's uh, going to have to do not with tying but with dyeing. Uh, something a lot of guys don't really want to get into because they think it's a little messy and a little, a little maybe too far out there and I wouldn't lie, I'd, I'd probably tend to agree. but. You get some really nice different things. Um, rabbit furs like this, rabbit pelts are available in you know Snow White like this over the internet through eBay and different places for relatively cheap. And uh, just some uh, old basic writ dye like this uh, will dye up real nice. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can uh, show you how to do that. Um, just uh, different colors, you know, if you want a uh, little sculpin color, there you can do it in browns, and you can actually mix this writ dye, you know, the different colors of it with itself to make uh, to make the colors you want. So, but today we're going to, uh, well, this actually takes a little bit longer than just today, so we'll be coming to you in different uh, segments here, but uh, we're going to tie, or hope to dye here a two-tone sort of uh, color that you see all the time. I don't know if the camera can really pick that up real well, but the tips are kind of a lighter color and the, the butts are the still the darker color that you'd see see the hide is t uh, dyed in. So we'll uh, get things going here and uh, be back in a sec. All right, let's get started here. Um, a few things to go over before we get going. You want to have everything assembled you know, before, because this kind of goes fast. It's kind of all those hurry up and wait sort of things. Um, let me say before, you probably want something down, like paper or whatever, because dye is meant to seriously stain stuff, so enough there. You guys are smart enough. I know that. But um, one other thing, I did this in the sink once, and a girlfriend I had didn't really like that because we lived at her parents' apartment house. So anyway, I just use an old bowl I found at the dollar store or something. You know, got about a, a quart of water in that. Uh, and you want stuff you can throw away. Like, you know, I'm not going to cry if, you know, the stuff gets ruined that we use here. Uh, just a spoon. I'm going to measure the dye out. Uh, some old... Uh, turners that, uh, you know, you use to, you know, move the pelt around. You, you, I mean, you can wear gloves. I don't happen to have any right now. Uh, but, you know, just just use your head, you know. Improvise. You guys are good at that. Um, something else here, my notebook. I've done this a bunch of times, and I've actually kept track. You know, I've done different, uh, different formulas, like a, a tablespoon of this and then two teaspoons of this or whatever. Just I'm trying to get the exact colors that I want. Um, and then when I'm done, I'll take it and put a number on it. And then we'll, I'll save a, you know, a little snippet of, of the high in a plastic bag. So that way I know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to try about half, half and half of this. We'll see how this goes. And I got about a, like I said, about a quart of water in here. And we're going to try about half of a thing of pink. I think it's about half. Move that a little closer. And then about, I'm going to go three quarters of a thing of this orange color. And you're pouring it out and it doesn't look orange. I mean, it looks kind of red. And you get freaked out, and, but don't worry about it. And the thing, another thing, you want to stir this up really well because a lot of it's, see, it's a lot of it's green down at the bottom. Stir that up good. This takes a couple minutes. And the water I'm using, I, I've never read the directions on the dye, which is probably a bad idea. But uh, we'll see. But now it looks kind of like a, I don't know almost a tomato juice sort of color. Yeah. All right. 
Now, when you get the rabbit hide, you don't want to put it in there dry because what rabbit hide does is it, it'll, it'll, you know, you, I'm sure you've seen it fishing. You have to get it wet. You have to mush all the air out or whatever. Or, so you got to, I got a hide soaking over here in a dish. You want to wring as much of the water out of it as you can because what will happen is, is it will dilute the dye. See, got a nice little pin in there. Get with your tongs. Get in there. And you just want to make sure everything's nice and have a chance to soak up some dye. Jesus, ought to be on the Food Network. All right. Well, I'm going to let that sit in there a couple minutes. And we'll come right back. All right, I let this sit for, oh, you know, five, ten minutes or so. I think it's about ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. I'm in the sink, obviously. You don't want to be playing with this stuff anywhere but here. I'm going to want to take this, put as much of this dye drain off as you can. Turn that on. And just rinse this out good. You see, look at that. It's not the color we want, so this needs to go longer. It's a good way to check. Just conserve your dye. I'll stick that back in there. Let that dye. Let that dye work a little bit. Wash off your fingers fast. And we'll come back in a little bit longer. All right. Well, it's been about, oh, I don't know, maybe a half hour total. And I think this is about where we want it. So I'm going to take this, conserve a little bit of that dye, set that over there. All right. Now I'm just going to start rinsing here. That looks about good. Just kind of, the stuff hides in all the all folds and crevices and everything so you kind of got to kind of got to flop it around and whatever all right there we go all right I'm just going to rinse this a little bit more get in there good That out. You can still see there's some dye coming out. There we go. All right. Now, as you can see, this kind of came out to a you know, sort of a bleached out yellowish tan color. And that's about what we were looking for. So... Now I'm going to take this and set it on a rack to dry, and we'll be back when that's all done.